It's Uncle Lou here. You know, I, I, I'm discovering uh, <laughs> a disturbing trend here uh, online in the interwebs. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. When it comes to some of these South Carolina fans. And the closer we get to the season, it seems to be more and more of them falling into this category. But, uh, uh, what? I mean, I mean, maybe you can explain it to me. I don't know. Um, it's unlikely that you can. Uh, please try. But what in the world gives you any optimism for this coming up season? I, I mean, I, I'm seeing Gamecocks fans predicting eight wins, you know, nine wins. What? What? Hello? Hello? McFly? Hello? McFly? Eight or nine wins? Where? Where? Look at your schedule. All right, let's talk. Okay, we'll just go ahead. Guaranteed loss. I mean, just guaranteed. Guaranteed bet the house losses right off the top. Georgia, Tennessee, Florida. You're losing all three of those games. You can write that down if you need to, too. Clemson, you're losing that game. And I know that hurts you, too. I know that hurts you. To know that you're, you've already lost your yearly Super Bowl, I know that hurts you. That's four guaranteed loss. That's four games that, you know, this game, those four games will be over by halftime. Okay? Four guaranteed losses. Now, let's look at the rest of your schedule in the East. All right? That leaves you with Missouri, Vanderbilt, and Kentucky. I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you right now, you're not beating Vanderbilt. That's not happening. Vanderbilt will beat you. They have a legit defense. You're not beating Vanderbilt. All right? That's another loss. That leaves Kentucky and Mizzou. Now, you better pray, you better pray that this new coach at Mizzou don't know what he's doing uh, or, or something, uh, or, or else, you, you know, you better cross your fingers that Kentucky is Kentucky again. Uh, other than that, I don't know what to tell you. But just, just because I'm a nice guy and for the benefit of the doubt, let's go ahead and give you one win out of those two games. So I'll give you one win out of either Kentucky uh, yeah, or Mizzou. All right, now let's now from the West. Okay, from the West, you get extremely lucky this year. You draw probably, arguably, the two worst teams from over there, uh, with the exception of maybe uh, the Barners. You you get Mississippi State and Arkansas. Okay, now Arkansas, you know they're no good. I, I admit, but you have to go there. So I'm going to chalk that up as a loss for you right there. All right. But, again, because I'm nice, let's assume you beat Mississippi State. That gives you two conference wins this year. Two conference wins. Now, as far as your non-con games go, we already Clemson, we already said, forget that. Loss, uh, a humiliating and embarrassing loss, too, at the end of the season. Uh, yeah, it has to be. So, and, and then that leaves you with uh, uh, three other non-con games. You play East Carolina. Loss! You're not beating East Carolina, I'll tell you that right now. Then you play uh, UMass and Western Carolina. Let's assume, you know, just for the hell of it, that you beat both of those teams. That's four wins, and that's being pretty generous. It could easily be three. Easily. You could easily win three, but Uncle Lou cares about you. Uh, yeah, uh, I love you. So I give you four, four and eight. Four and eight. Now, here's the good news. Here's the good news. Last year you were three and nine. So next offseason... You can beat your chest and proclaim preseason national champs like Tennessee's been doing for the last three years since you improved over the year before. That's the way it works. Ask any Tennessee fan. As long as you win more games than you won the year before, you're preseason champs. So next year, you'll be able to beat your chest and talk about how you won more games than you did the year before. Now, why, it, why, are, you, why are you winning four games? Why? Well, you've got no talent on your team. You have no returning talent on your team at all. You lost your best two players. You lost your best offensive player of the NFL, Farrell Cooper. And you lost your best defensive player to injury, which is terrible. I hate that. I hate to see anybody lost to injury. You guys have had some bad luck with injuries over the last five or six years when it comes to star players. So I feel bad for you there. Sky Moore's done. Gone. 
You know, he's not playing. So, and then, you know, yeah, you got your your incoming freshman class, but let's be real. Uh, you know, would you have a, a top 30 class, something like that? I mean, there's no, you, you don't have an income, you don't have a freshman coming in that's ready to dominate day one. You, I mean, what? you just don't have the talent to compete. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. But every day, like I say, on Facebook, YouTube, wherever, you see these South Carolina fans coming out. The world. I had a guy, Rob Rogers. This is for you. This is for you. Now, Rob, now Rob Rogers is a man of his word, okay? Pay his bets. I give him that. But this guy, whatever, whatever this guy got a hold of is some, some of that good, good. Look, this guy was bragging, bragging to me yesterday. Talking about. Uh, if South Carolina's so bad and UJ's so good, then, then what happened the last decade then? Sir, you were 500 against UGA in the last decade. You're 5-5 five and five against UGA in the last decade. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. You just had your best 10-year run in school history. And the best you could do was 500. That's sad. Pathetic. We're like 48 and 12 against you or something like that all time. You're a joke. Tulane has more SEC titles than you. You have a losing record to Duke in football. You had two of the greatest college football coaches in history and couldn't do shit with it. Spurrier won you the East one time. You took the worst beating in the history of the SEC championship game. And he said, oh, well, Georgia fan always talking down to Carolina. We owned you when Steve Spurrier was there. Owned? Steve Spurrier had a losing record to UGA when he was at Carolina. What is wrong with you people? You, look, wherever you, you say whatever you want about Georgia's program. Put Georgia wherever you want on the ladder of college football. But wherever you put Georgia, Carolina is miles below that.